Hi, I'm Anthony Sydney Backyard Veggies. Middle of December at the moment and I'm having an absolute glut of tomatoes. So I'm going to go this week and start converting a lot of my harvest into tapasada sauce. And I'm going to show you how I do that today. Well, first things first, I need to come through and start collecting more of my tomatoes. Um, the humid weather that we've been having at the moment, all my tomatoes are starting to ripen pretty fast. So I'm going to come through and show you my tomato crop, harvest a few and convert uh, some of the tomatoes into pasta sauce. Just to show you my crop, this is uh, my tomatoes I've been harvesting for close to two months now and I've taken up to about 80% uh, of the fruit. The plants are still looking quite good but you are starting to see signs of blight coming through which is expected. These plants were planted out in uh, mid-August so they've been in the ground for a few months now but I am getting a lot of fruit and it's quite nice looking fruit. And so I'm going to come through. Uh, I like to harvest mine at this color, a bit yellow rather than fully red, just because uh, I like to get them off the tree so that they don't get stung by fruit flies. I have been seeing a few fruit flies flying around. And so I'm going to come through and take off of the crop, expecting to lose the whole lot in about three or four weeks time. But as you can see, majority of it's been harvested. So I'm going to come through and harvest these and I'll take them inside. And what I do there is, is actually ripen them in my uh, toy room, north facing toy room. So it really helps uh, redden them up and then I make them into sauces. But I'm going to come through first and harvest, harvest the crop. So I just harvested my tomatoes and I got myself a container load. So you see just right there. Probably got an order of about four kilos of tomatoes in this round. And I'm harvesting that order and over every two days or so as the fruit starts to blush. Now I like to harvest my fruit a bit on the greener side. So anywhere from that color which is like a fully red, but even this summer, like this, this color, as it starts blushing, as soon as it starts blushing, it will ripen off the vine. If it's fully green, it won't, in my experience, but if it's starting to color like this, or better still, something like that, where it's just starting to show a bit of color, this will be fine to take inside and ripen indoors. Now, I do this, two reasons, birds and insects, uh, they tend to get to my, fruit rats as well if you've got a rat problem this is a nice way it's a good way to get around it but also it also stops the likes of fruit flies and grubs getting into them as well the sooner you get them indoors the, the safer your fruit will be but also I generally like to take the fruit off the vine because I feel that I want my the plant to concentrate on producing the remainder and for, and finishing off the remainder of the fruit and leaving tomatoes on the vine I personally in my, in my context I don't feel it adds any value to the flavor of the fruit personally um, happy to take them indoors, give the plant a chance to uh, ripen up the rest of the crop. So happy with that. Taking these indoors, I'm going to put them in there in the uh, ripening room and I'm going to go and show you how I convert some of my tomatoes now into passata. So this evening I'm in my kitchen, I'm going to start making a bit of passata out of my tomatoes. I've actually gone through a glut over the last three or four weeks and although I've been giving away a lot of my tomatoes, um, I've still got a lot in my um, ripening room. Uh, I harvest my tomatoes when they're just starting to blush to save them from the birds and the insects and I put them in my uh, kids toy rooms as a makeshift uh, ripening room and at the moment I've probably got in the order of close to 20 kilos of tomatoes in there and all ripening pretty fast so I need to start working through that glut and start making the sauces. Um, before I make my sauces I make sure that I have sterilized my bottles I give the bottles a, a good clean in the dishwasher and then I have them um, boil in um, boiling water to sterilize them for about 20 minutes making sure that the water covers the bottles and once they uh, have been boiled and sterilized I put them in the oven uh, to dry the bottles in the jars and I put the temperature at about 100 degrees and it slowly just dries the bottles and keeps them sterilized. For the tomatoes, I 
get my tomatoes, um, give them a first pass wash in the sink just to clean off all that debris. And then I actually cut the tomatoes up into slices, taking away any of the impurities in the fruit. And the idea is, is that by I cut them up into smaller pieces and then put them in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes for them to soften. Now that I've softened up my tomatoes in the oven, I've left them in the oven for about 20 minutes at about 200 degrees. I am going to process them now through using my muli. Um, I've got this, I brought this from your local uh, homeware shop store. The idea is I find this is in my context when I'm doing small batches of tomatoes, this is the best tool I can use to separate the skins and the seeds from the meat of the, the uh, from the flesh of the tomatoes. So, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this muli up above my pot that I'm going to reduce the sauce in and I'm going to start processing the tomatoes through the muli. Now to process the tomatoes, what I'm doing is just slowly uh, scraping some of the softened tomatoes and just leaving it into the muli. And as I'm turning it around, it is pushing the tomatoes through the sieve at the bottom and it just separates and I find it separates the tomato flesh from the seeds and the skin so just continue on and it's, it is ideal when it's a bit um, softened it just makes it for an easier process continue on, on. Now let's continue doing this until I processed the whole lot. If you can look at the tomato, that's what I've separated. It's just literally tomato, tomato flesh and um, the juices. So I'm going to continue on processing tomatoes but eventually what I'll be doing with this is I'll be actually reducing this as much as I can to remove all that water to concentrate the sauce. But I'm going to continue on uh, processing the tomatoes. At this point what I'm doing now is I'm going to put the temperature down a bit on the sauce. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to scoop it in into the sterilized jars. Try to mix it up so that the water and the, the remaining water in the sauce itself mixes a bit and then just ladling it in to the Containers. Make sure that the is on tight and it's ready to go. It's not clicked in yet because it hasn't caught and gone through its water bath. Now that all my uh, jars are in the water bath, I've got two, four, six, eight, nine jars of passata. Just gonna let them boil here, uh, rolling boil for 20 minutes, and then I'll just turn it, turn the gas off, and just let them cool down. And that should be good to go. So it's the next day, and I just wanted to show you my final product, and that's my sauces. I've got eight bottles out of the batch that I made before and what I did was once the uh, water bath had run had boiled for 20 minutes just turned the water off and left them overnight um, to settle and as you can see the vacuum seal <coughs> has closed off so this is now ready to go into storage I will store these for uh, throughout the year and use them as needed in pasta sauces and in uh, other stews and cooking. I don't add any salt or any flavor into the tomatoes sauce. This is purely just tomatoes. Um, I find that I'm better off adding as I'm cooking rather than before I, I bottle my sauces. So I've still got a lot of tomatoes to do. Um, I probably went through 20 kilos just before for this round, but there's still a lot of tomatoes to go through, so I'm gonna be doing um, more sauces throughout the week. And I'm aiming for 
for this planting of tomatoes, I'm hoping to get 50 bottles and I'll have a second planting of tomatoes um, starting now and hoping to top that off with another 50 bottles. So I have a total of 100 bottles that will, should last me throughout uh, the year, uh, uh, all my tomato sauce needs. So really happy with that and I'm going to continue on um, making some more sauces tonight.